Hello, trading is closed on February 8th, 2016. Uh, at Friday's close, we had a MJT target of 1889.89. It's too bad that futures action doesn't count because futures got as high as 1884.5, which is equivalent right to that price. But it does not count, and so we have to add this to our list of failed targets. Likely to print it sometime. We came within a small fraction of printing the failed 1828.12 target from January 20th. We got as low as 1828.46. That's close, but it's not close enough, and that still remains on our list. During the day, we got a sell signal in the morning which worked and some sell signals in the afternoon which worked but nothing that's gonna carry over till tomorrow mixed patterns today we have a pattern that usually closes near the day's high when it can't close over the early morning high it's usually negative unless we cap over this high or trade past it promptly on the other hand, we gapped down, hit a series of lows, couldn't hold on to any of them, and couldn't even hold on to some of these highs. That's usually positive unless we gap under these lows, or at least take them out promptly. It's not too good that here's the target of the pattern, and we hit it, and then reversed immediately. It suggests that the bulls aren't going to win this one. But if we have a um, but if we promptly take out this high, the next target higher is about 1880.70. Well, there are some other signals that give the uh, uh, bulls some hope. Here's the NASDAQ hitting a new low that is diverging with the SPX, which didn't hit a new low. And as we're hitting these new lows, the number of stocks hitting new lows is drying up. It's a little cause for hope. Here's the half a day chart. We had bar 13 of a sequential buy signal for real. No early finish to the bar. Here's the 130 minute chart, bar 13 of a sequential buy signal, bar 13 of a combo buy signal, no early finishes. Here's the 15 minute chart, bar 13 of the combo buy, and bar 13 of the sequential buy signal too. These all in alignment suggest that we're going to rally, but if the calls, if the signals fail they should fail in a large way here's one more ray of hope for the bulls here's your andrews pitchfork and we held the support level perfectly now futures are down sharply as i'm recording this and frankly i don't think this is a market we're trying to pick lows is a very rewarding activity but there are a number of signal saying that we're going higher tomorrow and if we promptly take out this high i think that's what's going to happen if that doesn't happen and particularly if we take out this slow early it could be major league trouble because when that many bull signals fail they usually fail in a grand style and that's today's call